Hello, welcome back. Last time I got dungeons 4 and 6 done, and all I have left... I do have all the Triforce, so I could go to dungeon 9 now, but uh, all I have left other than that is items in dungeon 8, and I do want those because some of them will probably be hearts. And I do not have a magic sword yet because it's very heavy. Apparently I need the maximum number of hearts to lift it, which is 14, and I'm one short. So, I'm gonna heal up, go to dungeon 8, which is where on the map? Way down in the... Okay, so if I'm going there... I have its Triforce already. Uh, there's the button. If I face left and do this, I should just go there, and that's close to a fairy as it is. Alright, so... Heal up. Whoops, there was a bush there. I was looking at the tracker and didn't see where Link was. Yeah, so I don't really remember my expedition into Dungeon 8, but apparently it resulted in me getting the Triforce somehow. So that's nice. Alright, full health. Need to blow my whistle to get in. There will be a red candle in there, I think. I'm noticing something. Right here, this little circle that's drawn. I think there's a black box around Active Dungeon and that's overlapping the circle slightly. Because, like, it's it's more... it's thicker here than over here. <laughs> a little graphical oddity. Right, I have a red ring. Arrows will barely phase me. All the bushes dry up and lose their water. And one disappears. Right, this funny screaming face dungeon. Let's go to the right. Magic key just popped up for no reason I can discern. Ladder just popped up. Wait, are you telling me? So I still have this thing marked here. Might need ladder in level eight. And yes, I, I have it and I'm here. Maybe that's something to do with it, but why the magic key? I have no idea. Anyway, just gonna look around here and find what I can find. I found Wallmasters. Okay. Do you push? Nope. Uh, I could try bombing and stuff. Oh, I studied my uh, st um, randomizer flags a little bit since last time, so I know a bit more about what to expect. Uh, this is configured in such a way that I would never need to push against walls. So indeed, it's only bombables uh, for getting through secret passages. So I don't need to push only bomb. Alright, so a bunch of blues here. I don't really need to kill them to go anywhere, but uh, maybe I do. There are blocks. I'd certainly like to try pushing. Yeah, you know, I could sword beam you. And you're immune to the the wand even if your back is turned, right? Yes. Or the 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 magic. Not the wand itself. No push, no push. It was one of those, not sure which. I have a magic key so I can open any key door. Don't have to worry about efficiency. Alright, got a key that I can't use. I feel like this seed has given out a lot of keys, more than I needed. Okay, there are Masters of the Wall here. I always thought it was such a funny name. Everything is just a little pinchy hand that comes out and tries to grab me. Alright, well, nothing happened when I killed them. That's fine. <laughs> this is the Wallmaster dungeon. Like, that is the primary enemy in here, apparently. <laughs> Alright, I'm going north. Let's see what I find. No Wallmasters in this room. My aim is not great. I picked something up. It could have been bombs. Let's assume it was bombs. I didn't get to see, though, because I was standing on it. Uh, speaking of bombs... That's a place. 
Found stairway. Is it transport or item? It's item. It's a heart. Here we go. Now I can have that magic sword. Alright, let's go get it right now. I'm not even leaving this room. So I had a whistle to level one. Uh, whoops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Face right. Uh, face right and do it. Thanks for the money. I'm not sure what I'll use it on. Medicine, maybe. I'm not sure I really need medicine at this point, but... Yeah, no, I have a red potion and uh, a red ring. And those two things together probably will be enough to get me through to the end of the game, so I probably don't need money except as ammunition. The rupees are in the shape of arrows in this world. Uh, sure, I'll pick you up. Uh, somehow, eventually, there we go. So, sort. You are right down here, right? Hey, I didn't get hit by a lever in this room. I still didn't remember they were there. Oh, there it went. Can't get out of this room without a lever hit. Ever. That's not allowed. So it's here, I think. There we go. Sword for me. Okay, so I have obtained the magical sword. Mark timeline. That's way past the amount of time it will mark. <laughs> That's fine. All right, so going back to level eight. This thing is on level six. Oh, I got a heart in a stairs here, so I'll mark that. Yes, I am in level eight. And I want to whistle back there. Uh, face left, yes. Will this take me to a good place? Nope, gotta go around. Hmm. So this is not ordinarily a recorder destination in actual Legend of Zelda. So some tweaking had to be done in order to set the, the like, the spawn row so I wouldn't just be dumped in the middle of the bushes there. <laughs> Unless the game just automatically knows how to recorder to any screen. I wonder how that's implemented. Or like if the randomizer specifically had to tweak. I didn't heal before coming in here. Let's see if that's okay. Uh, if the randomizer specifically had to handle that case and make it uh, go to that row so I wouldn't be dumped in the bushes. That's the kind of trivia I'm interested in. Wallmasters have a lot of money, but also... Oh, shoot. That makes it impossible to fight them, though. Yeah, they drop stopwatches often, and that's inconvenient. Because if I pick one of those up, I just have to leave the room. Like the anti-stopwatch enemy. Ah. Ooh, bombs. Sure, I'll take one extra. Oh boy. Alright. So now that I have the magical sword, I wonder if I'm reducing my damage by doing this. So, one... Two... Is that the same one? There's no way to know. Probably not. Uh, I don't know who I haven't hit yet. One... That was both. Two... Well, it's irrelevant, so I have no reason to dual wield here. This is a two-hander. And wow, I took a lot of damage in here. And also, I didn't need to fight that battle, I just realized now. Oh hey, it's the Zelda room. She's not here, though. Ah, uh, my sword also is not. Come back, sword. I need you. Wallmasters are... Wallmasters and Bubbles, that's a combination. Okay, I think they're all dead now. This Darknet outplayed me. But I'll have the last laugh. I wonder if any of these blocks can ever be pushable. Well, it would be one of those two if they could. And yeah, walls are inaccessible, so no bombing or anything. 
I think there are some ways I can go here that I haven't gone... Yes. At least one. I'm just kind of assuming that I'll be able to pick up enough health to stay alive here <laughs> without trying too hard. I mean, I have the red ring. Hey, there's a Goma! They exist! First one. Is there going to be like three of them here and level nine spread across somehow? Orange Goma goes down quick. That's right, there's orange and blue. I forgot there were two types. Oh, well, here we go. Yeah, here's where all the Gomas were. <laughs> or at least two of them. So I can go this way. I've already been. Was there a... There wasn't a west down there. I wonder if there's specifically the number of dark rooms that existed in... I guess it'd be first quest in this case. That will show up in dungeons. That just looked like a likely bomb spot. So I checked it, and it was. Gliark returns in the dead woods. There we go. That's my last hint for this, isn't it? In the dead woods. And that is a hint for this dungeon that I'm already in. <laughs> Alright, and I can't go to your north to try to bomb there. Because you are blocking the way and you won't go away even if I feed you meat. So the meat eater was a rope. I wonder if it could randomly be an old man. Oops. Okay, so stairway, what does this do? A thingy. Magic book. Okay, so now I also looked at my uh, flags and they told me this item will be a little different from what it normally would be. So if I try my wand now... No, it has the fire. Never mind. Maybe it does both things. Anyway, wand fire is fine. It's the the actual, like, melee hit to the wand that I'm interested in. The magic just doesn't really matter to me. Is there nothing in this room? Looks like it. Yeah, looks like it. Just nothing. Okay. I can try bombing, but I've already been all the places that are interesting to bomb. So I need to go all the way back to the start of the dungeon. At this amount of health, I think I'm going to take the quick way. That's fine. I have a red ring. Hey, check it out. That wall bombed itself open. <laughs> uh, what item do I want equipped? I don't know. None. None in particular. See, there we go. Plenty of health. Everything I need. Just provided for me. Okay, so going which way? There's some stuff in the west I haven't seen. Let's check it. One of these might bomb, or might just be unlockable. Did I... hold up, I got the magic book. In a stairs... Book. Alright. Patra. Alright. This Patra is... Uh, yeah, you're gonna... Encroach on my space, but that's fine. You are the easy one. Ouch. Ouch. Uh-huh. Without your orbiters, you are quite easy. There's the other Goma. Yeah, I think it's like three or four total expected per quest. They were all in this dungeon, unless there's a fourth somewhere. And that's funny to me. Your projectiles are too strong for a magic shield. I think same is true of Gliok. Anyway, yeah, so if I'm understanding my... Uh, flags correctly, that book has a secondary use as a, a dungeon atlas, which I understand to mean that it gives me maps for every dungeon, so I should have a dungeon 9 map as soon as I go in there, maybe? I'll get to find out. There's one dungeon left where I can find out. I think I gotta wait these things out. They're kinda slow sometimes, thanks for the fairy. 
Okay, um, sure, that's the way I'm going. I think I'm almost done here. I need one floor item, and it's gonna be in one of these four rooms, probably. Maybe all the way at the end? Maybe not. I don't think there are any rooms where I didn't kill all the enemies at least once, other than these last two. Triforce room. Many Vire. Too many for the NES to handle. I will take that. So now that their AI is not running, it doesn't uh, take as many CPU cycles, so all the slowdown goes away, I guess. I think that's what probably happened there. Alright, so last item must be here, unless I mismarked it or just didn't find it. Okay, you're the Tough Patra. Ah, Tough Patra, I think... I can tell the difference because his orbiters start closer. Yeah, okay. So at a glance, it is visible even before they start doing their movements. I backed off way earlier than I needed to. Whoa, that one wrapped around, I saw that. On the right side of the screen. Oops. Alright, do you have a thing for me? It's a key. Hmm... Shouldn't I have had another item in here? Did I forget to mark something? Red candle! Yeah, I'm expecting a red candle here. Okay, let's start trying to bomb into black spaces because... I probably just missed killing all the enemies in some room or another. But yeah, I'm gonna have to start bombing. I'll try all the black spaces. And I'll be sure to maybe in part of the... Because there was a part of this dungeon I explored when I first visited. I mean, sure, I'll even try corner spots. I assume only isolated ones could potentially have things places that I can go. I also think this dungeon generation just doesn't put anything in those rooms. Like, it, it never- oh, hey, Manhandla! This is a room I didn't step into? This is a room I stepped into- yeah, this is what I was talking about. I came here on my first trip here long ago, saw Manhandla, got scared off, left, and that's where the red candle is. Okay, there we go. Floor item. Red candle. Dungeon 8 is done. Great. Let's leave. And I'm gonna start chipping away at Dungeon 9. Sure. Um, that's close to home. Let's actually just... Wait, is it close to home? Well, I'm doing this anyway. So I want Fairy, who is... No, 9 is over there. Well, this is a fine route, I suppose. Alright, yeah. Just ready to go. <laughs> I don't even need this red candle for anything. It's just for completion, really. But it feels good to have it. So Fairy is just over here. And as usual, I get a bunch of stuff on the way that I didn't pick up. Alright, so nine. From here, I go south, south, then straight east for a while. Stick to the north so you don't get diverted to the south. Okay, yeah, I have everything I could possibly need, I think. So there will be two heart containers in here. Those are the final bits of loot. All the way there in Dungeon 9, which is pretty funny, because normally it has zero. I took a wrong turn. No, I didn't. This is correct. Well, in a sense I did, but this corrected it. Alright, this is Dungeon 9, I believe. Here we go. So, yes, I have the map because of the book. All right, um, is it worth marking this up? You know what, I'm gonna do it. So let's see what this experience would be like. So I'm gonna left click here and it gives me the dungeon entrance. And I guess I can click here to say that's goable. And then this is just a room. How do I, how do I specify like what room it is? It, which might have a staircase, empty nondescript room. Goes this way, okay. 
Yeah, it would be better if I didn't have to move my cursor all the way back over to the game window every time, but that's how I have this configured. I'll figure out a good way to fix this before I uh, play this again, if I do. Okay, so this is staircase only. Alright, so I'm gonna switch over here. This room is... Uh, I'm looking for room with staircase to... Okay, here we go. Well, I need to see what kind of staircase this is first. It is a transport staircase. Number one. One of matched pair. Okay. Wait, that was the right room, right? Yes. Oh, also, shoot, I'm marking level eight. All right, I messed up. That's fine. I can undo. I forgot this wouldn't have been able to know which dungeon I was in, because I haven't told it. Uh, you go away. Level 9. Okay, so here is entrance. Here is empty nondescript room. Can go those ways. Here is room with stairs number 1. Okay. And I guess there's a... This is a door I can't go through, apparently. So I'll click it there. I mean, it does help that I already have a, uh, a map of this dungeon. Okay, so that takes me to... Okay, so matched pair. I guess I would also say one here at E, bottom of bomb. Uh, one of a matched pair. Yes, okay, so staircase number one. And what else was going on in this room? Left is locked. I can have green or I can have... Okay, yellow. You, you know, locked is no barrier to me, so that's just green. Can go those ways. Uh, like Lake is here, be careful. Don't put your nose in the tracker for too long. Gotta actually play the game too. I missed a rupee. Oh no. I have 233 instead of 234. Also, there's, uh, there's a boss near here. Ganon is around. Is this him? Yeah, it's him. I found him. All right, let's fight Ganon. Sure. <laughs> All right, there's the... Oh boy, this is a uh, a different fight arena. All right, I gotta stab you four times before you become vulnerable, I think. You're being very nice to me. Okay, Ganon's done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, that's fun. All right, I got him. So you are Ganon. How do I... It's probably just like Dungeon Boss. Oh boy. Zelda Ganon. No, here we go. He has his own room. Alright, and uh, Ganon is defeated, by the way. Killed Ganon. Mark timeline right. You can't see that tooltip, but that's what it said. Alright. Ganon's done. I'm gonna try bombing this wall. Because I feel like it's... It does go. So that'd be a way to run away from the Ganon fight. If I wanted to, for some reason. If I find Zelda early, I'm not gonna rescue her right away. I'm going to explore the whole dungeon. Okay, so right, I need to mark. Um, you are... That goes that way. You are an empty, nondescript room. You are... <laughs> Chevy, four-way moat ladder vlog, because it looks like the Chevrolet logo, I guess. <laughs> All right, then. Uh... Wait, was that a tooltip? No, you can see that, right? Yeah, that's what it says here. <laughs> Apparently that's what this room is commonly called. Alright, traps are in mean positions here. I don't know if that damage is avoidable in any way for me. Okay, whatever. Alright, so this takes me to... A room with stairs that I don't know what they go to yet. But these are open. Um, room with unknown stairs? Is there like a question mark stairs option? Turnstile, that's right, okay. All right, well, whatever. I'll just uh, mark it when I know. All the money. Some of the money. All right, stairs are what? They are transport, okay, transport to... 
So I guess what I want to do is go across this transport, number two, so that I know where to mark number two. It's in the next room. That's pretty funny. Oh boy, bubble and like like. Same room, same time. I got bubbled. Okay, that'll help. Alright, so, uh, oops, that's not what I meant to do. Number two is here. There's a door to my north. Okay, that's pretty quick once I get into the groove of it. I mean, this is the same room, right? Just make sure I saw what I thought I saw. Yes. Okay. There's some stuff to my south, which, um, is probably not going to be circled around to. It's really close to the entrance, though, so when I restart, I can go there and see that. The Kidnapped awaits in southeast of Skull. Okay, so that is a clue for Zelda's location, I presume. All right, you are a hint giver. Southeast. Zelda's somewhere around here. Okay. Can I... Bum. Huh, I might actually be finishing this today. This is going pretty quick, actually. Yeah, I don't imagine there's any reason to delay, because, like, I, I have everything. Ganon's down. I know roughly where to get Zelda. I do want to see the whole dungeon. It's not strictly necessary, but I do want to. Okay, so the room that I'm in is... Nondescript. I can go this way. And I will attempt to bomb. All the walls that might be fruitful, that one went. Okay. This room has a staircase and I need to know what kind. I'm gonna attempt to bomb you. I was mostly successful. Huh, so you were shooting a lot more often when you had four mouths. I guess it's the mouth that shoots. Alright, so you are staircase number three then. And there was another door I could have gone through there, right? Let me verify. Yes, okay. Um, staircase number three. I'll take you in a second. This is a maybe nondescript room. This is a room that might have staircase. There is a, uh, a mark for that. I'll check it first. It does have staircase. Okay, so first let's find out where number three goes. Just mark that, then turn back and check that staircase. Okay, so this is changing the way I play. The desire to not have to use too much working memory for my markings. And, you know, make sure that I can do them accurately. So number three took me to... Right side... Under the rupee. So here, this is where number three goes. There is a way to go that way. And I'm gonna turn back. If I can. It'll take some effort, but I can do it. Can't curse my bow, only my sword hand. Same for boomerang. If there are potentially eight staircases in this dungeon, then that's a bunch to mark. Alright, so staircase here. Nobody should have had time to respawn, I presume. Yeah, so this is number four, I will say. Also, there were ways to go north and south, I think. I'll verify when I get back in there. So that's taken me to... oh boy, there was a like like there. V... Uh, above key. V... above key... number four. And no visible exits. Oh boy. I'm in a situation. Yeah, I'm cursed. There we go. Right, you go away before you become a problem. Right. Okay. 
So uh, let's check if there is actually any way to go from here. North would be the only one of interest, and there is. Okay. So here I can go north. This is... Uh, it's not so much a nondescript room. There is like a river in here. North Moat. All right, North Moat with way I can go there, way I can go there. Unknown door here. Let's see if it opens after I defeat the enemies. Yeah, I have to have to play differently if I want to get accurate information on here. That's fine. Get the full experience. Boomerang can't pick up a spawned rupee on the ground. Only one that a monster has dropped. Alright, uh, this is an empty nondescript room. Uh -huh. There might be descriptors for more of these than I'm marking, but I'm only marking the ones that are interesting to me. Okay, nothing much going on here. I'll call it empty or nondescript. I don't consider the fact that it dropped a rupee to be an interesting enough attribute to mark. Alright, so here... This is a... It's not a circle moat. It's not a... That. It's not weird shaped moat. It's just... It'll be empty or nondescript. Sure. Uh... You go... I'm in the right place, right? Yes. You go this way, you go this way. Let's go south. Found a manhandler. He's immune to boomerangs, unsurprisingly. You go fast. Right, uh, I'll call this empty nondescript, sure. Is there a thing for, like, where a mini-boss was? Dungeon, some kind of bus. I don't think there is. I mean, that's not information I need once it's defeated, so... Nope. Um, I could try bombing. Don't feel like it. Max rupees, by the way. You get eight bits of rupee. Unsigned. Alright, so over here... There are stairs to what? Stairs to heart container. Great. Okay, so this is... Um, what do you suppose that looks like? Room with staircase to basement item. Here we go. And I should actually pick that up before I mark that I got it. Alright, picked it up. I got heart container. Cool. And there were doors, right? There was a north door. Mm. Dig doggers here. This is, well, um... This is an empty nondescript room. No, I'm in the wrong one. That's here. Yeah. And no exits that I can currently see. Okay. I'll try bombing east. Oh, it, it went. Yeah. Turnstile. Okay. I'll try bombing north. That's likely to work. Although with the stairways in here, it was just as likely not to. Alright, so you are a turnstile. North goes, south goes. You're empty and nondescript. Apparently the enemies um, have like... Oh boy, how do I describe this? Each dungeon has like a... a collection of enemy sets. Like the fact that there's Pole's voice and keys in this room. And that there are a bunch of uh, other rooms in this dungeon that have that same loadout and, and bubbles, sure. Is no coincidence. It's like one of some number of... Oh hey, you have a map! One of some number of uh, 
enemy arrangements that can occur in rooms throughout this dungeon. Wait, did I just see... Whoa, check it out! I can move and stab my sword if I'm step laddering. Huh! But, like, only under certain circumstances. Like... If I start here and go to the right, it stops me when I hit the tile boundary. Fascinating. Okay. <laughs> I learned some new movement tech. Alright, so there's not really much of anything in here. I got a map. Sure. Doesn't need to be marked. Alright, turn style. Let's go south. I guess I'm kind of staying away from the southeast, because that's the last place I'm going to hit up. Oops, I was on the right item already. Alright, so you are Sandy, but that's fairly nondescript. Yeah, this is Dash, below Rupee, that's the right place. Uh, uh, uh. And this will connect up to travel staircase number three. I'm gonna unlock that door because I feel like it. That's my mark of having been here. There we go. Alright, so staircase here. Also a south exit. Also, right, yeah, so it has a staircase, but I don't know what's in it yet. It's the other treasure! Cool! Alright. So I do know... Uh, oh boy, right. Staircase to basement item. Now I'm just going to say I got this so that I can stay focused on the game. There. Alright, all hearts. In fact, that's all items. I got everything, except Zelda, if she counts. She kind of does. <laughs> Alright, so. This is the weird room. Uh, so I cannot cross... Oh, this is mean. This is very mean. Okay, so I'm stuck here until I do something about this. And with the Zol there... Uh... Right, anyway, so you are... Weird-shaped moat. There's a way south. Okay. Yeah, that could be a problem. Like, the barred door... The... If I... Uh, let's see... Is there any way I could be unable to kill that Zol that was there? Maybe. Alright, so this is staircase to... Okay, so I'm in here in this room. Dash, um, above key. Yes, there. So that goes. The room, the staircase type, well, it's going to be transport number five. Alright, so transport number five goes directly south of where it was, right? No, this is south of the moat. Okay, so next to five, five, and what else was in that room down there? Hold on, I can also test the wall here. It doesn't go. Right, yeah, so I know there's a staircase in here. Um, over on the other side... Wait, hold on, I marked the wrong room. It was not this. It was this. That makes more sense. So I'm now at travel number four. Let's take five back to where it was. Guess you get to live. Okay, so this went south. And I find another staircase. Of course I do. And the compass. Great. Single piece dig dogger only. Right. So I'm south of transport number five. So this would be number six then. Uh, here. Six. 
Alright, you all get to live. So now I am... Uh, oh, I can see where Zelda is now, by the way. She's here. Okay, well, I guess I know that. Um, Zelda. And I guess she must be accessed through there. Okay. I am currently at right of number, top of key, here. So that was number six. And I can't see a way out of this room. There probably will not be one unless this bombs. It does, okay. So then, uh, that's open. And this is stairway, sure. Okay, um, there are a couple of ways that I can still go if I go west of here that don't lead to Zelda. I am assuming if you're doing a race of this, you wouldn't play this dungeon this way. You just go straight for Zelda as soon as you can. <laughs> that much is obvious. But I'm not racing. I'm just playing. Alright, so we gotta defeat those. I was hoping to get all four at once, but they unclustered. Alright, so west of six is Hint Giver. The silver to kill the beast lies elsewhere. I see. So that's how you give that. Uh, I'm expecting one more old man. Okay. Um, my markup is incomplete. Or rather, my room visitation is incomplete. There's one to the north of that room. Which might be bombable, might be a thing I need to stare away into. I'm gonna investigate the bombability of it, I guess. Am I? I could just go elsewhere and try stairwaying instead. Okay, sure. If I walk all the way to Zelda, and I don't find the way to that one room, then I'll walk all the way back. Alright, so I am... Nine... Top of bomb. Empty nondescript. Goes south. I mean, this has to go to Zelda. There's, that's the only... Oh? Is she in a room with stairs? She might be in a room with stairs. Unless this bombs. It does not bomb. Okay, so she is in a room that is a stairway destination. So both Zelda and the stairway destination are on the same tile, huh? Unless... Unless that one unopenable door was openable? Well, yeah, she was, like, right next to the dungeon entrance. Okay, so this is nothing in particular. And so was this. And there was a way between the two. Okay, so now... Hmm. I mean, just in case, I'll try this. No, as I thought, can't walk through there. Hmm. Permanently barred door there. Okay, so let's investigate the one spot I wanted to get to. Okay, so what does Link's map look like? Yeah, I've been everywhere except Zelda's room and this one that I'm missing. So there weren't eight staircases here, there were only seven. Uh, let's see, where am I trying to go? This is the weird room and I can't get through here, so I need to stairway across. Bombing might be necessary. Yeah, so now is when my map really comes in handy, so I can see everything I need to see here. So, this might be bombable. It wasn't. Therefore, let me mark that I tried to bomb and it was not bombable. Try from the other places. I might just need to go back to... Well, no. If that door was closed, then it's closed permanently. They're in... Maybe I can bomb from east of the uh, entrance room. That'd be pretty funny. Just, like, literally enter the dungeon. Wait! Wouldn't that mean... Wouldn't that mean you could... You literally only needed bombs to finish this seed. Like, 
walk into Dungeon 9, not even need the Triforce bomb in there. Maybe that's not how it goes, but that would be so funny if that was the case. I feel like the randomizer would not generate that way. Probably. Did I forget to bomb the south of that one place? I might have. Okay, this goes. Here we go. Doesn't matter. Oops. Uh, don't know what you are yet. Well, yes I do. You must be transport staircase number seven. Couldn't be anything else. Okay, that doesn't bomb. I think that was close enough to count, if it had. Oh, wait, this isn't transport staircase number seven. Never mind, this is nondescript. I made a false assumption. So doesn't that mean that it's the bomb option? Are you telling me? Hold on, this means I have to try something. No, it's not that. So, okay. Okay, what's going on here then? Wait, there's an unvisited room on my map, I just noticed. Wait, this is open now. Oh. Wait, this wasn't open before. Oh, I had to kill Ganon, so that's permanently barred until Ganon is- Okay, that explains it. Got it. That's a mechanic I didn't know just because I couldn't have known. You know what? Those fires can stay. Hey, Zelda. Uh... Um, I guess I have to touch you from the south, probably? Do the fires have to go? No. Alright, we're standing on top of blocks, somehow. <laughs> Alright. Thanks, Link! You're the hero of Hyrule. Cool. Alright, so this was a fascinating educational experience. I learned lots about many things doing this and had a whole lot of fun. I could definitely see myself playing this randomizer thing a bunch more. Again, I'd like a harder seed. <laughs> this was fine. It was a good, gentle introduction, but I want to see what happens when he crank it up to nightmare difficulty. <laughs> Just curious. And apparently there's like funny text and stuff if you play as different characters. Like you can play as Zelda. She'd maybe be rescuing Link or something. Recorder theme from Kid Icarus. Okay, so it tells what it is at the end in case I haven't figured it out. Got it. I mean, I'm not going to know all the references to whatever is here. That was one I just happened to be able to get. Alright, cool. Is there a second quest here? No. It just... It resets my save file, but I don't get a sword. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Alright, well, this was super cool. Um, hmm... I had thoughts about things, but they can wait for later. That's fine. Yeah, so thanks, Brian, for uh, your help in setting all of this up. This was real interesting to see. And yeah, great job on the tracker. This thing was quite impressively well put together, I would say. And I look forward to using it more as I play this on my own. All right, I'll see you again for something else.